Well, welcome back. I am working on this precious little kitty now. He's been taking a nap down in the, nestled in the sweet potato vine, and there'll be some yellow daisies here with red centers. He's been taking a nap, and then this hummingbird came flying up, and he woke up and jumped up on the tile here just to take a look, investigate, see what's happening. So he's going to be a little gray and white tiger. And gray and, yeah, gray and black, excuse me, and then with white, white highlights. Now that green's all behind him. Is, that's all wet. I just painted that. So I can just, I want that edge of him to be pretty feathered. Show his little fur and just real soft. We want the harder edges to be up around his head so that that's where your eye, eye will go. But I just, this is ivory black. And I had originally drawn him in with my mud mixture, which is two parts ultramarine blue and one part alizarin crimson. And I mix that, I make a thin oil wash, I mix that with liquid. So that gives me, I did my drawing with that, and that's now dry. So I have that sketches in, and so if I make any mistakes, I can go back to my original sketch. Uh, I just like to do that, and I really, work the detail in that. So now, painting him, I have my pattern to go by. So I don't, you know, I don't have to worry about trying to get those details. I work out all the details in my sketch so that there's, there's no, no problems. I work those problems out before I start painting. I have found over the years, if I don't do that, I get into big, big trouble. Trouble right here in River City. So, just the white is painted with mixes of white plus a little bit of my mud. And right now I just want this to be in shadow. And I picked up a little bit of my color from the leaves in behind there, but that's okay. Because I just want this to be, right now, this is in shadow. I'm mixing a little bit of white plus ultramarine blue. I'm going to bring some blue into that. Because I just want him to just drop back into this. He's back here behind the behind that tile wall. Now his body color is, or the gray, is mixtures of my wall, which is my mud plus cadmium orange plus white. And so I've added a little bit of ultramarine blue into that just to gray it just a little bit to make it a nice little gray here. Again, this is ivory black, and my reference is on the on my laptop next to my easel. So I just bring start bringing that black down into his into those gray. I just keep those edges soft. He's he's pretty furry, and again, this is this is just going to drop back behind these flowers. So I'm not putting a whole lot of detail in there. And I just want to use some of this grayer, more adobe color on his legs. He goes a little bit darker in here behind, behind where his chest is. So that white stands out. And then I'm going to have some white on his little paws there. And then we bring some of that color up into his face. He's just a curious little kitty. Now the light's hitting his head.
just going to go ahead and paint the, his gray color. And I'm actually adding a little bit of my terracotta color from the, the tiles here just to bring some warmth into his head where that sunlight's in him. Now his ears, he's got a little bit of pink in his ears. The ears are lined with, the tips of the ears are black. And then within his ears they go a little pink. This may be too pink. This is alizarin crimson plus white. That's just about right. Just want a little bit of a, their ears are really thin so Get that light shines through it just a little bit. That's too bright. And I bring some of my black, my ivory black. Some of that alizarin on my brush and just soften this. A bit of light right here. It's almost kind of like that glow in the wine. If you want to see that, you can go to my blog. The link is in the description below. And on the blog, I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting. So just go to my blog and you'll see the entire, entire painting. Now some of this little lighter fur comes up. That's too bright. Again, I'm taking some of the, the tile color that's the mud plus cadmium orange plus a tiny bit of phthalo blue plus white. This is a warmer. And that just gives us some, some warmth there. His ear comes around. I love little baby kittens because their ears are so big compared to their little heads and they just make them look so curious that comes around. And he's got some brown on the back of his ear in here. I brought that, that went too far out. So I can just, again, that paint behind him is still, still wet, so I can just soften this with a clean brush, wipe my brush out with toilet tissue. There we go. Now I want to bring some of his stripes down into that color. They come down, one comes down the center of his head, just almost right down his nose. And I just paint those stripes into that wet. Kind of has one over the middle of his eye. And by painting wet into wet, that keeps them soft because they're furry. So they're, you know, they're not hard, the hard line. Couple stripes here, some black there. By having drawn that in and had all my details established, then that makes the painting go really easy. Now the white comes up in here a little bit. And then the light really hits here on the top part of his muzzle. Switched a little smaller brush, and then their muzzle goes down. And he's going to be a little lighter down here. He also gets some pink here on his lower, lower lip.
and is also the top of his nose is white. His little nose is pink. Color back in here. Rehighlight my white on his muzzle there, the side of his muzzle. That white really brings your eye to him. to him. The white on the hummingbird and the white on him directs your eye right to him. And this is going to be a little lighter right there. And he has a white eyebrow. And actually, some of this white goes up. Actually, some comes over here. And then he's got a little white around the bottom part of his eye. I did that with white plus ultramarine blue. And so now I'm just going to do a little highlight right at the edge of the corner of his eye here where the light really hits the side of his face there. And then I'm going to let some of that warm tile color just bring a little bit of warmth right here into the side of his face. Well, I got too light. Just a matter of working back and forth. Now for his eyes. I'm going to do his, since there's so much green around him, I'm going to do his eyes with cobalt blue. This is really tiny, so this is hard. I have to brace my hand on the easel. I'm bracing my then I brace my right hand on my wrist that's, then that hand is against the, the easel rail. So that steadies my hand to do this fine detail. This is my ivory black. bit of a glow. The light's coming in from the left, so he's going to have a little glow on his iris over on this, this side. And then he has a catch, what we call the catch light. That's the cornea of his eye is wet, so where the light hits that, that has a highlight. We call that the catch light. And that goes up near the lid. You don't want it in the middle of the pupil. You want it right where the pupil and the iris meet. So, get my hand real steady here. Make sure my brush has got a good point on it. And there we go. So there goes that eye. And then the eye back behind, we're really not going to see much of it. So there's our little kitty. Need to add a few little whiskers. 
I haven't done his paws yet. I'll do those. Um, now his whiskers. And again, just this is my white. And just we don't want these to be real prominent. We just if when you get up close, you'll see them. Pull them over that wet paint. I don't want them to be real prominent. Just kind of there. And so there's our little kitty. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and again, visit my blog and you'll see the total step-by-step -step process of this painting. You'll see the finished painting and just, you have a great day. The blog again is in the link, is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video. Just again, have a great day and happy painting.